Hi folks and welcome to Chem 200. Um, <clears throat> my name is Dr. Sardo. I will be your instructor for this semester. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little tour of where things are and what you can find on our Canvas page. So I'm going to enter student mode so that you can see everything or you will see on my screen the way your screen looks. Um, <clears throat> so the way our course will work is um, maybe a little different than some of your other courses. Uh, we're going to do everything through the modules. It's really, really, really important that you um, have announcements turned on and that you go to the module for our class. Um, if you rely on the dashboard to just tell you when an assignment is due, you're probably going to miss some of the instructions and other important information. So it's really important that you go through the module for this class. <clears throat> Down here at the bottom, I also have um, kind of like our own little navigation bar, which has all the important things that you will need, including things like some help with our book and where announcements are and all that kind of good stuff. But um, the only thing that will look different is this video will be posted right here um, when you see this. So you can click on Get Started, and that will take you to our first module, okay? So for week one, um, I've already opened the welcome module so that you can get started and look at that kind of stuff. But basically, it's uh, you know a welcome letter which you need to read. Uh, our syllabus, I really encourage you to print this out. There's a syllabus quiz <clears throat> that won't be available until our synchronous time. I'll talk more about that in a minute. A discussion board um, kind of information thing as well as a discussion. And then our week one material. Okay. Um, after week one, it'll kind of fall into the succession of um, <clears throat> you will see the week, the date that comes with it, um, something that'll be just very simple here, like telling you what we're covering, and then there'll be the things that are due during the synchronous time, and then the things that you can work on the rest of the week. Um, now, please keep in mind, we do have a synchronous class, which means you are expected to show up between 9.35 and 11 a.m. on Mondays for the rest of the semester, excluding spring break and holidays. Um, currently, I will not be having or holding um, a live Zoom session. Um, everything will be pre-recorded. I fully understand the demand of everyone's time. Um, that it becomes very stressful for students to be able to sit on a Zoom call if you have children in your house or something like that, um, roommates, anything that you are dealing with on top of everything. Um, but there will be certain things that you have to complete during our synchronous time. Typically, it will be something like a quiz, a discussion board, and maybe a video. Um, all of our exams will be held during the synchronous time. So you must be available you're definitely not going to want to miss the exams, okay? So um, <clears throat> as we get closer to our first exam, I'll kind of remind you of that. But um, if you do have a time conflict, um, you will not succeed in this class if you can't um, show up during that time because you will miss all of your exams. Um, so it is important that you... Um, are ready to go. So if you're freaking out thinking I didn't get the Zoom link or anything like that, there is no Zoom link. I will. I am available five days a week for office hours. It is in the syllabus, um, so please read it. Um, I'm trying to make myself as available to you as possible, um, as well as email and all that kind of stuff. So we can Zoom, we can do anything, ask questions, all that kind of good stuff. Um, <clears throat> so um, week one will not, uh, the week one actual um, module will not be available to you until you've completed these actions in the welcome module. So basically I'm forcing you to read the syllabus and take the quiz and do the discussion board. Okay, um, You have to do those things so you know what's going on. Um, and then this module will open up where you'll take your, um, your second practice quiz. Again, these quizzes are not hard. They're like, this quiz too has things like, what is your name? Um, it's just to get you set up for Proctorio. We will be using Proctorio um, in this class for assessments, graded assessments like quizzes and exams and things like that. If um, you are not comfortable with that, I will try and do my best to help you switch into another section. I cannot guarantee that there is an availability open section for you, but we will be using Proctorio. Um, we will also be using Cengage's online homework um, 
as well. And so in the week one module, this will be a place where you'll set all that up. If you've used SendGage and OWL before, that's great. Um, you still have to go through Canvas to do it. Don't go to SendGage.com because you won't find our assignments in there you have to go through Canvas. So what I have here is kind of like a, a readme document that will help you get access to it. Um, I have a video on how to be successful with doing the online homework. And then you have three homework um, sets that are due um, coming soon. So the first two are due next Monday and the following is due the Monday after that. The This one is literally like how to use OWL. There's no like knowledge base to it. This is a math review. If it's been a while since you've had a math class or you're not 100% confident in your math skills, this will kind of be a good way to help you um, get more comfortable with that, as well as how you're going to enter those numbers in Cengage, in the OWL, in the homework. Um, this is important because computers are really powerful, smart things, but they're also really dumb. So a computer needs to have it written in a very specific way for it to be a right number, to be a correct number. So um, this math review will help with that. And then homework three is where we actually start kind of doing some chemistry review. And then uh, most modules will also have extra practice. These are not graded. They're worksheets I've made up. And so as you can see, you'll have the worksheet and then the key. Um, it's really beneficial to you to actually try the worksheet without looking at the key and going, yep, I knew the answer to that. Yep, I knew the answer to that. Yep, I knew the answer to that. Because guess what? When you see the answer, obviously you knew how to do it. But give yourself a shot and try and do it as a blank worksheet first, and then you can always check the key. Um, <clears throat> I didn't put up the rest of the weeks right now because I don't want anyone kind of being overwhelmed with everything. But as we further progress through week one, week two will pop up and week three, so on and so forth. So you'll see more and more of the information kind of coming out. But in the syllabus, um, you will see the schedule um, for um, you know, what chapters we're doing when. Um, we will have discussion boards. These will be a part of your um, uh, your synchronous time. So on Mondays, you'll have a discussion that you'll have to do. Our first discussion, the first couple weeks aren't a whole lot to do with actual chemistry because it's a review and everybody's kind of getting started. So it's just some expectations I want you to talk about and some like conduct for being um, polite in an online setting. Um, so you'll contribute to that and comment on some people um, to, to do that. Um, again, back to the homepage for a second, just so you can see that little navigation I put down at the bottom. The main way I'm going to communicate with everyone is through announcements. So it's really important that in your Canvas settings, you have the announcements turned on. If you do that, you'll get an email when the announcement um, comes. Sometimes there's an issue with a test or a quiz or an extension has been given or something like that. So it's the quickest way to get in communication with me. I also have your resources page. It's in the module as well. But this is just a whole bunch of really great resources on doing um, Cengage is our publisher. So that's where you get your ebook through. And OWL is the homework like software they have. Um, so I will have a couple other um, little videos and stuff that will be posted as we get going. Um, but you'll have access to that as well. And then uh, syllabus and then code of conduct real quick. Um, these are just some rules that we're going to keep in mind when we are using our discussion boards or talking with each other um, or myself or anything like that. Just some code of conduct online can be really easy to um, kind of have that, you know, the blinders on. So we're just going to make sure that everyone is a decent human being to everyone else. Um, if you have any issues or questions with any of it, please let me know. Other than that, um, that pretty much finishes our tour for right now. Um, so like I said, Monday morning at 935, you will have a couple things you have to do. There is no Zoom link or anything like that. You have to take the lecture quiz um, syllabus quiz number one, and you have to do your discussion. Okay, those are the things you have to do. Um, <clears throat> the quiz number two is, is you can take it at any time. It's just to help you set up Proctorio. The questions are things literally, like I said, what is your name? Okay, so it's not meant to be a challenging quiz. It's just to help you get set up with Proctorio. That's why you have kind of like a week to get it done. And then um, the rest of week one is simply going to be review. Chapters one and two 
um, in our textbook are basically Chem 152. So they're all the prerequisites that you came into this class with. So we're just kind of doing it as a, hey, remember these things happened um, kind of thing. So, um, and like I said, homework three will be on that. Okay, um, starting in week two, we will start some new material starting with chapter three. So like I said, about halfway through week one, week two will show up, week three, I'll start putting more of the modules up. I just wanted to let everyone get settled, settled in at first. So if you have any questions or concerns, um, please feel free to email me. Here's my email address. I also have a phone number that you can text. Um, or call and leave a voicemail for. Um, it is a Google number, so it's not my direct phone number, but I will have access to it um, pretty regularly. So um, if you need to get a contact with me, please feel free to do so, and I'm excited for us to start our semester.